she was so excited about the surgery, thinking that it's going to be a magical cut and she will be all good. But it, it took a lot of effort from her to get what she is today. Today we are doing a selective dorsal rhizotomy. This is most commonly performed for what we call cerebral palsy or spastic diplegia. Cerebral palsy is something that if there are no signals passing from the brain to any muscles in the body, that muscles don't move and they don't move, they become stiff. We take a portion of the spinous process off and lamina and end up sectioning a portion of the, what we call the dorsal nerve roots which control the sensory portion of the spinal cord. What this does is it shows that there is an improvement in their spasticity scores, there is improvement in pain, and there is a decrease in the amount of orthopedic procedures that they need. We have one of the most comprehensive menus for treatment of spasticity where we can provide the clinical treatment and study them in the process. Those first few days, that one week when she uh, had to go through that pain, the back pain, the leg pain, it was a difficult <laughs> surgery to go through. She is really strong. She didn't cry for anything or any pain. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> it is when she came into the rehab that the hard work started. She came to rehab really weak, not able to do a lot and move around a lot on her own. Now she's pulling herself up to stand and she's walking with someone watching her with a walker. If you don't perform the physical therapy, the benefits of the rhizotomy do not materialize. The parents sort of look at me funny when I say, my part's actually kind of easy. The children have over six months of hard work to do in their physical therapy. A lot of times in therapy, we like to use games as our motivation. It makes it therapy for her, but also very enjoyable. Okay, go ahead and roll. I have no regret. She, she is going to get things done. <laughs> Her legs are free and she can move them much better. Her postures have changed. She stands straight. She doesn't need a braces now. You see results three, six months afterwards, you, sort of a honeymoon during that first six months. I think that her walking is going to be improved. I think that her overall quality is going to be improved. I think her pain will be decreased. You're here. Hi. Hi. How are you? Boomi just has an internal drive to do well and to work hard. She's made improvements in every area since she left the hospital. She's walking really independently. Friends. Her legs are pretty straight. I could really feel her knee locking, which was never there. It is so important because that's what helps her keep up straight and helps her use her upper muscles. It looks amazing, it really does. She loves dance. She's a very hard working girl. She will get there. I'm sure she'll get there. <laughs>